Hey, what's up guys? Anshul here from Alpha Code. Today we are starting our first crash course that is about mastering the art of designing microservices architecture. Today I'll take you through the topics that we'll be covering in this course and then we'll talk about uh, what this course is about. So I believe in the philosophy that if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Now to explain things simply, I basically follow two principles to make it easy for you. First, I like to give analogies from real life so that you never forget those. And I like to give as much examples as possible so that you could learn to generalize the concepts yourself out of those examples so that you can implement it in your own projects. I would say you need to focus on design, but if I just say that, you'll say, why? And uh, that is because most of us are software engineers and software engineers have this habit of viewing the software as simply objects and methods. And that's fantastic up to a certain point. But and let me give you an example why it, it doesn't work out in long run. So tell me this. Will you create a great art if you only concentrate on brushes, colors and canvas? Or tell me this. Will you create a great car if you think of it as a collection of engine parts? Or will you create a great house if you only concentrated on bricks, tiles and wood? Or as I told you, I'll give you too many examples. <laughs> Is a blog just a collection of English words and sentences? No, it isn't, right? So according to me, a good blog or car or an art starts with a vision. A theme. Sometimes it starts with carefully written specifications and then it continues with design, a lot of design. A design is never perfect on the first go, of course, uh, and months, maybe years of time spent on design, changing and refining it until it reflects the original vision. Processing design is not all on paper. Uh, much of it includes testing certain things uh, to see if they work. And then your design is modified based on those testing results. And don't even try. Don't even try to wait to deliver a perfect design on the first go. Because that just plain stupid and it doesn't work. Trust me, it doesn't work. I think you should always follow an evolutionary approach. So let's talk about the topics that we have in this course. So first we'll talk about the domain driven design. What is it? and what it is all about and uh, then we'll talk about how to implement domain driven design how to apply those principles that you learn via domain driven design i'll just be giving brief overviews of both of these because if i go into detail you can really create a, a full-fledged course just for these two things i'll be telling about these just to get you interested in the idea of domain driven design and if you are a software engineer you should seriously spend some time on reading about these things then we'll talk about monoliths, what are monoliths and why are they good, why are they bad, in which situations we should use them, when we should not. And then we'll of course go to microservices, that's the whole gist of this whole course. And we'll see what microservices are, what, why, everything about microservices. And then we'll move on to some microservices patterns, which only means that if you are designing a microservices architecture, what all patterns you need to follow and what all patterns can help you design uh, an excellent microservices architecture. So objectives of this crash course basically uh, is to introduce you to the art of creating great software architectures and teach you to think about softwares as a whole rather than objects and methods. And uh, this will be teaching you what, why and how of microservices and then I'll be giving you comprehensive details about implementing microservices architecture. So that'll be all and thank you.